Hello everybody and Merry Christmas. I've got a little gift for you today. This is a recommendation I have for DMs all out there who are having trouble maintaining and creating encounters uh, and initiative and spells and the like. You all know that the pain of having an encounter running and then you're like, oh, this spellcaster is going to use this spell. And then you have to go open your handbook and figure out what that spell does and does the range work for everything and it's just a mess. And the, the goal of combat for a DM is to have everything run as quickly and smoothly and excitingly as possible. So this is an app I use to keep that running. So this is called Campaign Lab. Uh, it is available on Android, unfortunately not Apple at the moment. Um, and as you can see from this screen right here, it has a lot of capabilities. Uh, you can have the spell list. It has all spells ever. You can click on Arcane Gate, for instance. It gives you the all of the details about it and everything you'd ever want to know. Um, really nice layout, really well done. Uh, you can go back to this menu. You have a huge list of items. It also gives you the stats for those items. And moving on towards the actual encounters, you can create your own parties. So you can see the different parties I have here. I've created a special Christmas themed party. It's called Santa and it's just Mr. S and Rudolph. They're both level 10. Um, I didn't populate their, their hit points or their armor class or initiative because uh, this would be something that my players would play as and they would keep track of that for me. But if I were to make a enemy NPC or somebody I wanted to control and keep track of, I could aren't populate those fields. Um, and so moving forward, if I wanted to create an encounter, I can make a campaign for them. So I made Ho 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 Down, um, and I have different chapters in that campaign. I've so far only have the 12 Nights of Christmas, but you can make like one-offs and different areas, keep everything organized. And so we have an encounter here that I am creating, and I have my party selected as Santa. And so now I can go to uh, the monsters and add monster. And now what's really nice is it has everything under the sun. Um, you can enable the filters up top here, source material, check off pretty much everything ever made ever. It's great. Um, and so this is a uh, elves going on strike encounter. So of course we're going to need some drow in here. Uh, so I'm going to add uh, maybe an elite warrior and an arachnomancer. I want to I wanna fight that one day. Um, and so I've added those two monsters, uh, or elves, uh, and now I can go back to my encounter and it will start telling me how difficult this encounter is going to be for my party. So I'll go back and you can see it's already deadly. So a challenge rating 5 and challenge rating 13 duo against my two level 10s is not going to go well for them. Um, but we'll, we'll see in a second. So I can then, uh, like, in the preview here, I can click on their, their name and it'll tell me all of the details of different stuff they have. If their attacks can cause a status effect, it will summarize that status effect for you beneath the attack, which is super useful because I'm constantly getting messed up on the technicalities of the difference between, like, restrained and prone, or not prone, restrained and incapacitated and stunned and all of those differences. Um, and so these are really useful and what's especially useful is their spells are linked to the spell card. So if it is the Drow Elite Warrior's turn, I can click on his name and then click on one of their spells and it gives me the details of that spell. It's one of the most appreciated features of this entire app for me and I can't recommend it enough. Uh, and so now if I wanted to say like, uh, they're going to face a few encounters before they get a chance for a long rest, probably deadly is probably not a good way to start. So I'm going to take out one. It's still deadly. That's not going to be great. Um, so now we can go and adjust the encounter. Let's throw in a random, like, uh, something easy, like an abyssal wretch. And now if I go back to the encounter, I can take out the drow. And there, it's an easy encounter, and I can keep on incrementing how many Abyssal Wretches they take. And it's becoming medium and the like. Um, so, really useful. You can change your party on the fly, too. And now, say we're going to face 17 Abyssal Wretches, and we're gonna we're in the, in the session. We're going to run everything. So, I can click on the bottom right here and hit Run Encounter. 
and now it'll prompt me for the initiative rolls of my players. So I'll say that Santa rolled a 17 and Rudolph rolled a 10. Um, and then it will automatically roll uh, initiative for my monsters that I have added. I have it set up as a way I prefer where it will roll one roll and that'll apply to all of the monsters of that type. Keeps it kind of like a, a horde and a little bit easier to maintain as the DM. So they're, they're inputted and then I just hit next. And here's the uh, here's the uh, encounter. Um, it's pretty pretty scary to look at right now, just the sheer numbers. Um, but it'll tell you at the the far left uh, that 17 was the de the uh, initiative that was added and stuff like that. And then you can see just a quick preview of the abyssal wretches. Uh, it'll tell you what their AC is, um, and it doesn't seem to be populating well on this one. Oh yeah, I can click on. There, uh, so you can see underneath AC 11 of the Abyssal Wretch, it tells you Bite is its attack that it has, and I could just click on Hit, and it'll tell me what it has to hit. Um, and it automatically rolled for me, or I could do it myself. I can see that it's a 1d20 plus 3 to see if it hits. Um, but yeah, you can have it roll for you, you can tell it to go at advantage and then take the higher, really quick and automated, and then you can click on Damage, it'll tell you what the damage type is. Super great. Um, and say I wanted to see a little bit more details about the wretch, I could click on them, see their different immunities and resistances. All in all, great experience. Um, this is not an ad. I am not paid for this. I just thought it was a good recommendation that you all might appreciate. Um, and I hope you all have fun in your future uh, campaigns and sessions. Um, coming up soon, I'm going to be working on a cyberpunk campaign, a brief one for one of my groups, and I think I'm going to make some content about my creative process with that. I'm excited as there's been a lot of ideas that I've had that I couldn't implement in a typical fantasy setting. So look forward to that. Anyways, have a happy holidays and thank you all for watching.